Welcome to uh, Adelaide Oval, the uh, last month of construction heading into this ready for a footy game on the 29th of March. Uh, an outcome that they actually told us couldn't be done. In fact, um, uh, two bidders who were in the contract uh, said they couldn't do it in this time frame. Goldstone now then lease took on the task and a fantastic outcome. We had it ready for an Ashes Test match. Uh, we'll have it ready for a uh, footy game on the uh, 29th of March and uh, also a concert for the Rolling Stones before that. Welcome to uh, Nathan Van Burlow and Jackson Trengo who are here to join us for the announcement. And this is just to provide information that clarifies how public transport will work for games at the Oval. We're releasing that today, but here at the Oval we will have free footy express similar to what we've had at uh, West Lakes previously with buses uh, collecting from a number of sites around the metropolitan area uh, and we're releasing information on that today and those buses will head to Adelaide Oval as indeed we will have trams on the network between Glenelg and the Entertainment Centre and we'll have trains and all that information is in the uh, pack that we're releasing today. The intention is, of course, the trains will deliver uh, the uh, footy going public to uh, the railway station. You'll be able to walk over the footbridge to access the game, and that's the uh, reverse route for the way home. We'd be encouraging people on the tram network to also use the footbridge through the railway station, and uh, we'll have uh, uh, arrangements for the use of the Adelaide, uh, Adelaide Railway Station tram stop on North Terrace. The intention is that buses, uh, which will come from all parts of, um, of Adelaide, uh, we're able to base our understanding on where we picked up people from previous games for the uh, Crows and the Power. Those buses will come to Kimberley Street and they will drop off their patrons as close to the uh, to the arena as the buses can get before the game. The timing again is all released in the information we're putting out here. At the end of the game we will close to William Street um, a half hour or so before the end of the game. The buses will come back and they will park in King William Street. Uh, there will be specific tops, stops for where those buses go. Some buses facing north uh, and park there and all those directions are in the information package. Other buses uh, will be on the eastern side of King William Street or even just tucked around the corner by Torrens Parade Ground and they'll be heading out and they'll be heading south in whatever direction they go. There will be a series of buses at the uh, end of the game uh, which uh, uh, all customers, all patrons can uh, uh, can move to their spot over in Kingwheel Street. It will be south of the river, between the river and um, and King William Street. Of course, patrons can also uh, take the opportunity to go up to the city uh, and to access facilities there. Normal bus services, normal train services, normal tram services will be available based around the normal timetable. If people want to stay in the city, uh, there will be the normal uh, public transport services to take them home. On footy days, it is free public transport. If you show the uh, driver or anyone who's checking tickets your footy ticket, it will be free public transport. We'll have similar arrangements in advance of that for the Rolling Stones concert, except that it's not free public transport for Rolling Stones, normal ticket normal fares will apply. We we'll use the Rolling Stones concert as a bit of a dress rehearsal of what we're running when we start footy games on the 29th. I acknowledge Darren Chandler who's here from the uh, Sodium Management Authority uh, also uh, participating with us in the announcement today. Make afc.com.au your first destination for all things Crow. You'll find exclusive content, player interviews, video, behind the scenes action, photos and highlights.